and I welcome you back to the Debrinic channel. Today we are talking about California and we will be getting right into it as we scoot out here to California. We are going to be talking about Lake Shasta, Lake Trinity, Lake Folsom, and of course Lake Oroville as well. And wow, we got some precipitation possibly coming in the next several days as you scoot in here. Between now and 1 p.m. Monday, 24 hours, you got nothing. We scoot on out and nothing for quite a while. And we go all the way out till Saturday next week and we're still looking at not much but then you could see next monday a week from today possibly more precipitation coming in and then a ton of precipitation by next tuesday so we will see what happens if this comes to pass you're talking about 1.83 inches down here in yuba city you're talking about maybe an inch up here by shasta 0 0.96 inches and we come over here to oroville you can see possibly 1.32 inches east quincy 1.55 inches sterling you're talking about 1.68 inches there's a good chance of some precipitation here the european model is not agreeing much with it at all now it does have more precipitation more towards the north and this being a high pressure and of course they're disagreeing there's plenty of precipitation from basically denver to the east and that's fine they're calling for quite a bit down by lake navajo as well the gfs a little bit so we will see ultimately which one wins out this is still quite a ways out yet so something to keep an eye on it's sunday we are doing our normal thing here on sunday and let's roll right out to the lakes we're going to start down at Folsom tonight as we roll out to lake Folsom, you can see it's november 3rd 2024 and the water level is 402.01 feet it's continuously dropping we get there you can see 402.1 that's the current water level there and we go out to the next slide and that was on Sunday, November 3rd, 2024, at 12 p.m., the level is 63.99 feet below full pool of 466. Changes since yesterday, the lake is down at Lake Folsom 0.45 inches over the last 24 hours. Over the last seven days, the lake is down 2.46 inches. Over the last 14 days, the lake is down 4.63 inches. Over the last 30 days, the lake is down 8.59 inches. Over the last six months, the lake is down 10.08 inches. Over the last year, the lake is down 19.58 inches. Your inflows are currently 435 and your outflows are 428. Let's keep on rolling out to your three-year bar graph next. As we roll out to your three-year bar graph, you can see 466 is your full pool there at Lake Folsom. And then we go to 2022, you're looking at 383.62 feet. We go to 2023, we're looking at 421.59 feet and of course today we're at 402.01 as we said just a few minutes ago and Deadpool is 300 there at Lake Folsom we continue to scoot along here to percentage of capacity next as we roll out to Lake Folsom percentage of capacity is currently 40.22 percent and we roll over to New Bullard's Bar next. As we roll out to New Bullard's Bar, you can see that the current water level is 1,087.84 feet. It is down from last year quite a bit. We will be talking about that in a minute, and we will continue to scoot along here. That was Sunday, November 3rd, 2024. At 12 p.m., the level is 87.16 feet below full pool of 1,955. Changes since yesterday, the lake is down 0 0.19 feet over the last 24 hours over the last seven days the lake is down 2.88 feet over the last 14 days the lake is down 6.22 feet over the last 30 days the lake is down 12.05 feet over the last six months the lake is down 7.06 feet and over the last year the lake is down 25.77 feet your inflows are 252 and the outflows are 45 currently let's keep on rolling along here as we roll out to new Bullard's bar you can see that your full pool level is 1955 feet in 2022 the water level was 1864.27 feet in 2023 we're looking at 1893.61 feet much higher than today looking more like 2022 and then in 2024 we're looking at 1867.84 feet Deadpool is 1700 and we continue to scoot along here to percentage of capacity next and we scoot out to percentage of capacity and your current percentage of capacity is 62.18% and let's go over to Lake Trinity next 
As we roll out to Lake Trinity, you can see that the current water level is much higher than last year. We are looking at 2,312.46 feet, and that was on Sunday, November 3rd, 2024. At 12 p.m., the level is 57.54 feet below full pool of 2,370. Changes since yesterday, the lake is down 0.24 feet over the last 24 hours. The lake is down 1.49 feet over the last seven days. Over the last 14 days, the lake is down 3.17 feet. Over the last 30 days, the lake is down 7.17 one seven feet over the last six months lake is down 33.55 feet over the last year the lake is up 34.60 feet inflows are 2087 outflows are 401 with this interesting data of the inflows being higher than the outflows after looking closely with the interesting data that on our inflows and outflows right now we're seeing inflows significantly higher than the outflows it is a big difference, however, it's the last hour difference. So these inflows come in every hour, not every 24 hours. Therefore, the inflows are different than what they are over the last 24 hours. Usually when we track inflows and outflows, we see a gradual shift over a day, but sometimes it happens much more quickly as in this case. So what does this mean? With the inflows being so much higher and the outflows staying low, water levels could start rising fast, impacting nearly areas in potential setting the stage for an increase activity downstream. This kind of sudden changes could be due to recent weather or stratic adjustments in how water is being released upstream. Either way, it's something we'll watch closely because these conditions can shift dramatically pretty quick. I think the reason why these inflows right here are much higher after looking closely, that was just over the last hour. The inflows before that, the water level was dropping, indicating the lake dropping 0.24 feet. However, over the last hour, which I probably ought to put another arrow on here, indicates that in this case, the lake has actually come up 0.1 feet higher than it was just in the last hour. And that would explain why the inflows are higher than the outflows. So let's keep on scooting along here. We go to the three-year bar graph next. As we roll out to the three-year bar graph, Trinity Lake water level is 2,370.10 feet. That's the top of the glory hole. In 2022, we are looking at 2,100. 90.67 feet. Last year we we're looking at 2,277.86 feet. Today we're looking at 2,312.46 feet and Deadpool is 2,100 like usual. And let's continue to scoot on to percentage of capacity next. As we roll out to percentage of capacity, your current percentage of capacity at Trinity Lake is 65.96% and we are in the yellow as seen here. And let's keep on scooting over to Lake Shasta next. As we roll out to Lake Shasta, you can see that the current water level is 980 and you can see that the lake is dropping as seen here and this was on November 3rd 988.35 feet and that was on Sunday November 3rd 2024 at 12 p.m. the level is 78.65 feet below full pool of 1067 changes since yesterday the lake is down 0 0.30 feet over the last seven days the lake is down 1.89 feet over the last 14 days the lake is down 3.61 feet over the last 30 days the lake is down 7.71 feet over the last six months months the lake is down 24.14 feet and over the last year the lake is down 25.05 feet inflows are 4092 and your outflows are 3078 we continue to roll to your three-year bar graph next. As we roll out to your three-year bar graph, your full pool is 1,067. In 2022, we were looking at 918.63 feet. Last year, we were looking at 1,013.40 feet. Today, we're looking at 988.35 feet. Dead pool 737.75 feet. We continue to go to your percentage of capacity next. And the percentage of capacity there at Lake Shasta is currently 56.74%. Let's roll out to Lake Orville for our final stop tonight. As we roll out to Lake Orville, you can see that the water level there at Lake Orville 761.93 feet, and it continues to fall. We are currently at 71.693 feet. You can see it was much higher last year and much lower the year before. And that was on Sunday, November 3rd, 2024 at 12 p.m. The level 
level is 138.07 feet below full pool of 900. Over the last 24 hours, the lake is down 0.46 feet. Over the last 7 days, the lake is down 2.49 feet. Over the last 14 days, the lake is down 5.75 feet. Over the last 30 days, the lake is down 15.21 feet. Over the last 6 months, the lake is down 56.21 feet. And over the last year, the lake is down 56.67 feet. Inflows are 6,854. Outflows are 6,750 currently. And we continue to roll out to your 3-year bar graph next. As we roll out to your 3-year bar graph, you can see 900 feet is full pool in 2022 we we're looking at 675.81 feet last year we we're looking at 818.60 feet much higher and today we we're looking at 761.93 feet dead pool is 640 and that's what we got going on there we are going to roll out to percentage of capacity next as we roll out to percentage of capacity, you are currently looking at 49.91% there at Lake Oroville. And that's all we have for tonight. Thank you guys for stopping by. I hope you enjoyed the video. We will see you on the next one. God bless.